I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about infinite series. In problem number 45, I'd like to write the decimal 0 0.09 repeated, where the 0 and the 9 are both repeated. So in other words, 0 .09, 0 0.090909 and on forever write that as a fraction. And this is an interesting problem because we know that things that repeat eventually in their decimal expansion, we can write as a fraction. Those are rational numbers, but how do we do it? So this type of problem gets to that. How do we write this guy as a fraction? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this guy just slightly different. Uh, if I've got 0 0.090909, then I could say that that's equal to 0 0.09 plus 0 0.0009 plus 0 0.0000009 plus, and so on. Okay, so one zero, then three zeros, then five zeros, then seven zeros, and we get the idea. Well, if I rewrote this, I can rewrite 0.09 as a fraction. I know how to do that. 0.09 written as a fraction is 9 divided by 100. Okay? 0 0.0009 can also be written as a fraction. The way I would do it is it's 9 over, well, ultimately 10,000, but that's not what I'm going to write. I'm going to write that it's 100 squared. And similarly, the next one is 9 over 100 cubed, and so on. Now it's very clear that this is just a geometric series. So as long as r is, uh, the absolute value of r is less than 1, we can add this guy up. Okay, so what is a in this case, and what is r? A is just the first term of the series, 9 over 100. So let's write that up here, 9 over 100. And R is what I multiply every term by to get the next term. To go from here to here, I multiply by 1 over 100. To get from here to here, I multiply by 1 over 100. So my R is 1 over 100. So let's write that in. By the way, you can see right now, is the absolute value of r less than 1? Yeah, it is. And so this thing converges, and what it's going to converge to is point, uh, 0 0.09 repeated is just going to be a over 1 minus r, whatever that is. Well, a, in this case, is 9 over 100. And that's over 1 minus r, which is 1 over 100. Okay, well, that's the same thing as writing 9 over 100. And 1 is otherwise known as 100 over 100. So this is 100 hundredths minus 1 hundredth is 99 hundredths. Now I can flip and multiply, and I get 9 over 100 times 100 over 99, and the hundreds cancel, and I'm just left with 9 over 99, which is otherwise known as 1 over 11. So the way that I write 0 0.09 repeated as a fraction would be 1 over 11.